autonomous cars, they hold a lot of future, but there's still a lot of challenges like integrating all this great technology, LiDAR, radar into a form factor that makes sense. Well, Kishore, you've been, koido has been working with OEMs for a long time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing to integrate these sensors into cars? Absolutely. Uh, the Koido Group is the world's largest supplier of automotive lighting today, supplying all OEMs. What we are working on right now is reducing the size of the sensors through solid state miniaturized sensors so that we can put them into the headlights and tail lights. With that, we can make the sensors lower cost, good performance with a 360 field of view, as well as be able to protect these sensors. And that's a huge thing, you can protect them, but you can also keep them clean, right? Absolutely right. Uh, we have headlamp washers and LIDARs, for example. Need From a uh, perspective of integrating this stuff. Through the headlamp washing, we can clear the dirt, the snow, etc. in adverse weather as well. We're used to these mechanical pucks on, on top of the cars and so forth. How much are you involved in the actual semiconductor fabrication of these next generation sensors? Well, first of all, the electromechanical pucks you're talking about, uh, they are exactly that electromechanical. There's a greater, ch greater chance for them to uh, break down in some manner. Solid state doesn't have that, in, that problem. In terms of the semiconductor part of it, we work with suppliers, we work with partners uh, in terms of uh, designing the chips, in terms of working with uh, even other LiDAR and sensor suppliers and integrating their material into our lamps. So that gives you uh, the ability to kind of get the product to market, it sounds like. That's absolutely right. It's a very fast-moving market right now. There are um, multiple different companies working on many different ideas. We want to get the best ideas from out there. We are looking for partners uh, so that we can get the best product into our lamps and supply the OEMs. Now, do you have some prototypes out there in the field now? Uh, we have some concepts. We don't have field prototypes. Of course, we have internal R&D working, which we can't discuss at this point in time. Mm -hmm. When do you see this being production ready? Uh, we believe in the uh, early part of 2020s. So not, not too long. And then from a cost perspective, what do you think, you know, is this get to the point where it's just almost another uh, lamp type of thing? Well, initially the cost for these things is always higher, but over time the cost goes down. Just the fact that it's going to be a solid state part uh, means that the cost will be a little bit lower than the electromechanical radars or, or the LIDARs that are out there right now. That makes sense. Well, it's a, certainly a cool form factor you have there, and Kishore, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.